Hey everyone, it has happened. On this new channel, I was able to monetize my channel after about a month and got my very first YouTube paycheck. I wanted to share with you all of those details. This is not clickbait. I will absolutely take you into the analytics of this channel right now. We are going to talk about the numbers, what it all means, and why you don't actually get to keep all of it. So before we look at all of the nitty gritty that I know you are interested in, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button and let's dive into it. Here we are in my analytics. And as you can see, I am at 19,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to this new channel and supporting this new content that I am doing all about how to make money, how to do YouTube and personal finance. Let's drop down to the analytics for the channel and I'm gonna change the date on here to January because I started the channel way back at the very, very end of December of 2020. As you can see right here, I posted one, two, three, four videos in the month of January. I'm trying to stick to one video a week. Let's pull up the revenue side of it. I think I monetized as of January 20th. And as you can see this first day of being monetized, I earned a whopping 66 cents. The next day was $1.95, which was highly exciting. Then it dropped back down a little bit and I have a huge jump on Saturday, January 23rd, which is when I posted the video, how to monetize your YouTube videos in 2021. So I posted a video that day and got a huge jump in income and then it dropped right back down again, tapering off all the way down to 81 cents by the end of January. So as you can see here in the month of January, my first month of being monetized, I only earned $71.58 in the entire month. And that is not enough money to pay out because Google AdSense does not pay out until you hit $100. So this amount stays in your account and rolls over to the following month. I had high hopes that I would be able to hit the $100 threshold in February and be paid out. And something happened that I did not expect. But before we jump into February, let's look at the details of the revenue side right here, because these are kind of the numbers that matter. As you can see, this was the old number that we used to have, the playback-based CPM, and then YouTube would take a cut of that. They actually have a new number now called the RPM, and that's actually what you make per thousand views. And because I was not monetized for the entire month, my RPM was basically zero, 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 and then it started jumping up to a high of about $9.30, which is what I get paid per thousand views. And as you can see, it jumps all over the map. It's all over the place, depending on all kinds of factors. So the average for the month was a mere $1.12, which is pretty small. For my 63,000 views that I earned in January, I made $71. Let's move to February and where the real magic happened. Here we are in February and it has broken down for you very nicely, I think, your monthly view rate. So as you can see, December, here were the amount of views I had. January, it went up significantly. And then February went up significantly because of one particular video that I posted. In the month of February, I was able to earn 213,000 views, which was amazing to me and another 7,000 subscribers. And if we jump over to the revenue side, once again, I posted four videos in the month of February on the 4th, on the 13th, the 18th, and the 25th, and that is all. And as you can see, each time I did that, I had a pop in income, and then it would taper off. And here's what's fun about YouTube is every time you post a video that gets views, your views and income will go up, and then they'll drop. But every time they drop, they drop a little higher than they were the previous time. And what I mean by that is right here before this video, I'm sitting at like 150, 130 when I didn't post a video. It jumps to $100 in a day. So exciting and then drops off. But now my drop off only went down to about $30 instead of the previous $1.50. I pop up again and now I'm dropping back down to about 30. I pop again, 
That one I think went lower because I waited longer to post another video. But as you can see, your daily income will go up and up and up as you have a backlog of videos for people to find you and then go and watch. So your views should steadily be increasing as people are finding your channel. My RPM this month started really nice at $12.54 and then just kind of went all over the map to a low of $5.42. I care a lot more about the RPM number than the CPM number because that's an arbitrary random number to me. RPM is what I actually make. So I made an average of $7.20 for every thousand views that I earned for a total $1,539.39 for the entire month of February. If you are as shocked as I am on a brand new channel with not even 20,000 subscribers, let's talk about what happened. My top earning videos, I have a list right here. And this video, this how to live on $1,000 a month, I'm basically telling my story of how I started saving money to buy a house and pay off debt. That's what the video was. And if I go to my content and look at the specifics of that video, that one video received 115,000 views on a new channel. I was so shocked to get that many views. I was hoping for around 20,000 views or something. So when it continued to gain traction and more people to come to my channel and watch that video, I was stunned. It is this one video that made me most of the money for February. So this one video, has made me $643.25 so far. I published it on February 4th, so I'm sitting at about a month since I posted this video. The view rate has definitely slowed down. I don't think it's gonna keep growing in views to the amount that it has, but I'm so excited about how well this video did. I have January's income and February's income both together on the screen right now, and the total is $1,610.97. And you're thinking that is amazing for a little side hustle and part-time job where I basically only put out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight videos. That is not too shabby. Now, before you think you get to keep all of that $1,610, let's talk about what's really going to happen. The first thing to know is that the 1610, I am not going to be getting this until March 21st into whichever account I have selected in the Google AdSense website and in my account. The first thing that you are gonna to need to do with this money is set aside taxes. I am going to set aside 30% of this because you are a 1099 contractor, which means Google does not take out any taxes at all, so you are responsible for the employee and the employer taxes. It's probably not going to be all the way up to 30%, but it's just a safe bet to put aside 30%. $483 comes out of that right now before I do anything, leaving me with $1,127 and some change, which is still not too shabby. However, there are some expenses that you probably need to pay for. I use a program called VidIQ at $50 a month to help me put together my titles, description, and keywords for each video. I also need to use the internet to be able to upload these videos. That costs me $80 a month. If you are brand new at the YouTube thing and you've earned approximately $1,000, the first thing I would recommend you do is invest in some equipment. Take the entire $997 that you have left and get a camera, get a mic, get some tripods, maybe get a second camera. A GoPro is a great tool to have. I bought mine about two years ago and it has come in handy so much for my channel. So it is possible that you will spend every single dime of that first paycheck on reinvesting back into your channel and I would recommend that. But if you've already purchased all of your equipment and you don't need to get anything, I have $997 of profit that I can use for my family. And there's two things you can do from that point. You can just put it into your personal account and pay your 30% in taxes as a contractor at the end of the year, or you can set up a business bank account and a business legally, which I recommend by the way, to keep your business transactions separate from your personal because as your YouTube channel grows and you earn more money and you have more expenses, this is going to be very 
complicated. It makes things so much cleaner to keep them separate, which is what I recommend you do and it is what I do. Even though I have about $997 that I made from this channel, I actually don't get that check whatsoever. I put it into my business bank account and into my business and then I can pay myself a salary out of that money. And I can pay myself a whole 997, but I also don't have to pay myself anything. And I can let it sit there and let it accumulate until I wanna buy a nice new laptop for editing and for my work. And whatever you choose to do with it, that's really up to you. So if you have a YouTube channel and you are trying to get monetized or you just barely got monetized and you're trying to get that very first paycheck, let us know down below what your YouTube channel is, what kind of content you put out so everybody else watching this video can find you, come watch your video and show you some support as well so we can all help each other out on this YouTube journey. I hope this video was informative for you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one.